Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna hit R. We're gonna get Judas. I can deal with that. Judas is a fun character that I like a lot. Higher damage, lower health. Book of Belial. Which does increase the Devil Room chance for Judas, as we've recently learned, but it does not, and it is impossible to, increase the library chance for you. Because every time I forget to mention, no, you can't drop it and put it back, or you can't drop it and then pick it back up to get the chance. It doesn't work like that. So it's literally impossible for the Book of Belial, as Judas, to increase your Devil Room chance, or your library chance. It does increase your Devil Room chance, 35% for holding. So that's, that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll take Poison Touch, although it's not actually beneficial to me when I'm at half a heart. And I'll do this because I kind of needed health. But bombs, well, uh, this could be raw liver. That's been happening a lot l lately. No, it's three cents. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to use my other bomb to go to the shop. It's a weird choice, but it's one that I'm going to stick with because I don't do it often. And I can get the heart, and I can get the tarot card, which is going to not be the Hierophant, which is what I was planning on it being. If I had to be honest with you. It was my plan, and it uh, did not did not happen. This is its own session. No angel rooms right away. And of course, the first floor, you can't earn a devil or angel room anyway. You have to uh, teleport there if it's on the first floor. So I guess there's nothing, nothing strange about that one. Book of Belial, plus two damage, by the way. Besides its Devil Room chance increase and not library increase for Judas. You need to pick up a... for the library chance to increase, you have to pick up a book from the library pool. Um, 30 frames after the game starts, one second after the game starts at the very least. And uh, Judas gets this book instantly, and since he's already had it, dropping it and picking it back up doesn't do anything for him. That's all there is to it. The more you know. We still haven't found the item room. I kind of... I don't know why I came here. This is a little bit risky, but at the same time, Monstro is very easy, and most of the first floor bosses are. Oh, of course, it's Pageant Boy. Well, that gives us seven coins and not 15 cents, which is really what counts here. What I could do is try to get a fly from the Fortune Teller, or not Fortune Teller, the um, Wheel of Fortune card. I really want a bomb to get in there, which uh, likely the uh, Wheel of Fortune card hopefully giving me a slot machine, will provide me. But I will do that in the boss room, just in case we can fight Monstro again. I think that would be relatively advantageous if I had to posit something of the sort. I could buy a bomb as well. If I get down to five cents without being successful, I will go buy a bomb, since there is one in the shop. But I think that this is more likely a good plan for me for the moment. I just need to pay close attention to my money. And that's not a big deal. Wow. Alright, so I'm gonna buy the bomb now, because I don't expect another one, although it's entirely possible. I think that the bomb is pretty important. So you see that that room is now grayed out, spawning a black fly, only black flies, and not like spiders or red flies or anything like that. Spawning a black fly in a room after it's been completed gets you... Uh, yeah, I can do that here, and then I can just leave. Gets you, uh, the room re-rolled. You get to do it again. So we're gonna fight Monstro. It doesn't have to be the same version, it can be a champion. But we're gonna get another boss drop, and that's really pretty helpful, I'd have to say. Just gotta be careful not to go down the trapdoor. And also, that does have its 50% chance, I believe it's 50%, to be reevaluated into a fortune teller. But of course, it's still a 50% chance that it stays as a, uh, Slot machine. Normal slot machine. So this time we got a fortune teller. I'll play that with the last bit of my money. Uh, not like we can get a black fly for it, but we could get like a soul heart or something and that would be really helpful. So I'm good with that. And I'm skipping chocolate milk because it's anno an annoying item. It's good. It's objectively good. It's a significant tears up and a damage up or not a damage up because you could just fire faster. So it, it's no detriment besides the fact that Physically, you have to tap the key every time you want to fire, which is annoying, but it's still an objectively good item. It's a really good item. There's our health up that we wanted, and then we play this three times, because, you know, could give us a soul heart or something that I want. Burn Penny is actually pretty good, too. That is, every time we pick up a coin, there's a 50% chance that we also get a bomb drop, and that, I mean, 
I that's better the earlier you get it because you're gonna be picking up a lot of coin throughout your adventures for sure that means we can build up nice bomb supply so I picked up the eternal heart and that's gonna get me a health up should I get it to the next floor which I'm currently in the process of doing that's exactly what's happening at the moment and uh, I saw that the secret room was right there so if I get a bomb, which, again, not unlikely, 50% chance every time we get a coin to get a bomb. So I'd say that chances are we do get a bomb, or we just get a bomb right now. I'm just going to go there right away, because I don't see a reason not to. Uh, I can't guarantee that I'm going to get the D6. Oh, that's the top secret room, you don't say. No, oh, Mom's Pearl. I kind of want the Burnt Penny more. Yeah, you know what, screw it, I'll take the Burnt Penny. Mom's Pearl is an extra 10% chance that uh, any non-specific heart drop is instead a soul heart drop. And that's really good. I mean, it makes your overall chance 19% instead of 10%. And that's good. That's definitely desirable. It's just that I kind of want to stack up on bombs right now. I want uh, to get a good supply of things and stuff. I don't like the magnet. I'm mostly only for breaking. It's only bad if you might break the game, which uh, chances are I won't. But I'm still not going to take it because I'm silly. There's no reason not to take it. Except that, I mean, I do get the D6 as not Isaac kind of frequently. As far as getting the D6 as not Isaac goes kind of frequently. But, you know, I, I, I don't think it's important to have. So breaking the game, like arcade stuff, or wherever you do it, becomes pretty much impossible with the magnet, and I just don't like ruining that possibility. It's not, it's a beneficial item, yes, but it's not, uh, it's not like game changing. Most of the time, it's not game changing. See, already feel vindicated in my decision. Definitely gonna hit up this chest, too. Alright. Yeah, especially with another coin there that's guaranteed to be another coin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? Good. Oh, bad. Bad Envy, why are you here? Can't bomb my way out of the room either. Sadly, I hate fighting Envy. Like, it's just not fun. It is not even a little bit fun. So, I'm gonna kill it as quickly as possible. With as little strife and... All that as possible as well. Oh, you are a jerk. Oop. Okay, uh, we have escaped crisis. Against all odds. Oop. Alright. As Judas, I kind of, I mean, you have to pick up your dodging if you want to win as Judas, because you have less health, but I am up to Isaac level health just from the first floor being quite generous. So I guess it's not the end of the world if I miss a couple dodges. At the same time, it's better to not miss dodges. Yeah, I'd rather get the attack fly than shoot the whoop, so I guess I will kill this one last. And uh, I'd, I'd actually make use of the attack fly, and I did get it. So I guess we're good. Does two damage per hit, but hits practically constantly. No reason not to use this now. The only reason not to use it then would have been if the uh, top secret room had an eternal heart in it, and then we would have been guaranteed an eternal heart as the drop, uh, as the heart drop from the justice card. Because all non-specific heart drops in the uh, top secret room with eternal hearts, or with an eternal heart, have to be eternal hearts. Non-specific ones, not specific ones though. So uh, don't think like, oh yeah, fortune teller, that's a great plan. It's, I mean, you're still guaranteed a fortune teller in a top secret room, but any top secret room, by the way. I didn't, I, I messed up. <laughs> but you are not guaranteed eternal hearts from it because they're specific heart drops. Oh, okay, I didn't take red heart damage, so I was guaranteed this devil room. I don't want cat of nine tails because it's a shot speed up and that's terrible, but I do want mom's knife. So, now we have this. Uh, we don't have a very high rate of fire or anything. Actually, now I'm going to take the shot speed just to see if it makes a difference. So let's see. Take it and do that. And then I take it and do the same thing. But at the same time, I don't care about having shot speed because it won't actually detriment me as far as I know with Mom's Knife. It shouldn't matter in any way. So it's all good. It's all good. I am going to clear the floor, of course. Book of Belial has taken on a far lesser importance at the, this point in time. Since uh, plus two damage, yeah, that's good. But with Mom's Knife, of course, we have this high multiplier. I don't know exactly how Mom's Knife works. Uh, three rooms is higher priority than two rooms for the, or than four rooms for the secret room location, so I'm going to guess here. Because the one to the right is impossible, the one above the top secret room, that's impossible. 
And with all of this money, I am going to the shop where maybe we'll pick up the candle or something. I don't know. A good, good item would be appreciated. You know, I'm actually okay with the ladder. I was thinking about it, and I was like, hey, you know, if we don't get Magneto, we could just get the ladder instead. And then I'm gonna buy the key, and then I'm gonna buy the soul heart, and I'm going to be on my way. With nine bombs? I think that now it's time that I switch to the... to the pearl. So let's do that. I've figured it all out. I have figured it all 100% out. At the moment. All right. Away we go. Gotta wave my knife at things. Sorry, you can probably hear me tapping the keyboard. Uh, but it's, it's the way of the world sometimes. Caves 1. Still not a super threatening floor, but it is uh, definitely tougher than the basement. I wanted to call it the mines because I was just playing Spelunky. Recorded them bear snap daily challenges that I do with that bear taffy guy. And if you enjoy fun, you should probably check out that series, as well as Bear Taffy. He's a fun guy. Not like a fungus, uh, pluralized. He, he's a fun dude, man. Bear, I guess he's a bear. When you think about it. And that's B-A-E-R, not B-A, not B-E-A-R, like a normal bear. He's a special kind of bear. And, okay, I don't really care about that, and I am going to, of course, Fight the boss while it's still early in the world. Okay, you, I fear not. That did a bunch of damage. That did a bunch of damage. And I've gotten no damage up besides using the Book of Belial there. Maybe it's a little more important than I gave it credit for. I do get a Devil Room. I'm taking this because it gives me a Tarot card, and I don't actually need to worry about shot speed since it doesn't seem to affect the knife. Uh, Spirit of Night, not worth it at all. And uh, the Razor Blade, I can't even afford checked for a tinted rock back there, as there is a rock behind the statue. But I, uh, I did not find what I was looking for. And I can't... Yeah, th th I mean, flight isn't worth health. That's mostly opinion, but it's pretty much true. It's not worth health, it's not necessary, and your health is better spent on many other alternatives. And I do have the ladder, which allows me to cross one-block spaces anyway. So the flight... Yeah, it still has bearing in certain rooms, but a lot of the rooms that people like flight for don't really stop me anymore. So I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm content to have health instead of that half soul heart that I have sitting around in flight. When spectral tears don't help me, flight's a little bit of extra maneuverability, and that's about it. Alrighty, you're dead, and then you're dead. No, you're not. Oh, okay, that was a bad dodge that almost screwed me over. Uh, after what Book of Belial did for us on that Gertie fight, I'm going to stick with it over... I mean, Crack the Sky isn't good, so... That's not, like, a controversial decision or anything. By any means, it's a very easy decision... Decision? Decision that I think anyone would probably make. So I believe that uh, four room surrounded locations are tiered higher than... Wow, really? I guess we're going to the shop, which is guaranteed not to be greed. Oh, well, this will just tell me where the secret room is. And I'm going to take that. It should be next to the challenge room, though. And it is. Because, um, four-room things are higher priority than two-room things. No two-room things in this, um, floor fit the requirements of the secret room spawning there. And there's no reason it would be around one room when there's a four-room one right here. May as well play this out just to see if it wanted to help me. It didn't, and that's okay. I'm not going to use a bomb on it. That's... All right. I got this. Wow, you're still there, and I'm still not interested in you. So, let's see. I want to save this Emperor card. Well, I guess I'm going to the secret room right away. It doesn't show us the top secret room. It shows us the layout of the floor without showing us how to get to places. Or without showing us what the places are. I'm going to roll with my little unicorn. That is what's going to happen. It's a weird decision. We don't get our increased Devil Room chance from holding the Book of Belial, of course. But what we do get is... Six seconds of invincibility, maybe? Uh, we get a little bit of invincibility. And with uh, the time that we're invincible, we can still use Mom's Knife, which is why it's pretty good with Mom's Knife. Uh, we also do contact damage, just for existing 
on the generally same point as an enemy. So I'm, uh, yeah, I think that this is an interesting choice that I don't usually make, which is why I'm making it, because it's, it's different. I do have exactly enough keys to get into this item room, and we get the PhD, which means so, um, it means that pills can't be bad, they can only be good or neutral. It has a chance to evaluate the actual effect of a pill every frame. It's like 1 in 150 or something. I can't recall exactly. So, it eventually identifies pills for us. We give it some time. And that's uh, pretty great. And then it makes it so that we always win at least one... Well, no, we always win one more coin than we would have on a blood donation machine or a... Oh, darn it. Blood donation machine or IV bag. Always one more cent. Not one more cent, one more coin. Because that could be a nickel or a dime or whatever it wants to be. It can be anything as long as it is one more coin. So that means that the minimum you can win is two, and instead of two being the maximum, the maximum is three. So it really does make blood donation machines a much more viable option. As much as I would love to go to this curse room, ain't no way. But that key is nice. Uh, I'm hoping the boss is down here, because that would really be nice, and then I can use my little unicorn in order to uh, probably kill it immediately. Bloody penny, now you don't say. That's an interesting offer that I think I'm gonna decline. That's a specific heart drop, by the way. Alright. And that's why that's good. Get a cube of meat to block some tears and damage enemies on contact as well as stacking with other cubes of meat. Now, I will go to the curse room. I wanted to maximize my devil room chance, of course. I think that the Book of Belial might have made a difference there, but we just got teleported here anyway. Oh, you're an evil game, is what you are. There's no way to do this other than, like, losing it all. That's the thing. Let's blow this rock up. It's gonna be a tinted rock, don't worry. It's not the day. I'm going to take them both. So that puts us two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy, which gives us flight and every hit with our tears, or in this case with our knife, spawning a kamikaze fly that does twice our damage, but our damage not affected by the knife. So it's good. And uh, now I pick up the Polaroid because I currently have only soul hearts. I'm coming back in here just in case those were soul hearts or something. So now I'm in a bad place health-wise, and that's okay. I'm going to make this work. Trust me. Now the bloody penny is also useless at the moment. This is a bad decision. I just want to let you know that. But it's a fun decision, which is... Oh, you don't say. Well, that could give me soul hearts. Or it's small rock, which is a good thing, too. Uh, that's a damage up. Speed down, which I actually don't like at the moment. I need to be a little faster. Uh, but it's a damage up, it's a um, tears up, and it's a speed down. Now I'm going to pay a visit to this boss challenge room, which is excellent health up. Coin purse. I can't say I'm not interested. It's not going to be a hard fight, this room. Is it possible for me to die? Absolutely. But I'm banking on one of these being health up. Remember, we have the PhD, so I was really into this idea. Two health ups, maybe? Four health ups? That's possible, because one could be health down without the PhD, become health up with the PhD. I am going to wait these out, because friends till the end, that doesn't really help me too much. Uh, I'm just going to use both, because I don't care that much about them. Uh, I'm going to lose one fly. Tears up, that lets me charge my knife faster. So that is, that is good, but it is not necessarily what I was looking for. All right, sloth, that's fine. I really need more health at the moment. B two of diamonds, please. That'll double my money. Now I, I really kind of need Dead Cat. Dead Cat would be the optimal pickup for my situation. I can't possibly get a charge for this. I also can't possibly get enough money to go and make it worthwhile to go to the shop. Which is a 50... No, it's a 0% chance of greed because there's a mini boss on the floor. But away we go! With this strange spacebar item, secret room's right here. I saw the door before the... Um, treasure map told me. It's greed, so we know that greed isn't in the shop. Alright, greed. Steam sale, I don't really want it. 
because actually screw it I'm gonna take the steam sale for the one and only time in my life reason being I don't have seven cents so whatever whatever let's play it crazy basically oh my dodging needs to be really on point at the moment ladder is okay I can deal all right bombs not worth it I don't care about that bomb Yes, I could easily... Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? I was about to get hit. I, I don't even care. With Poison Touch, that's also really good. <sighs> I don't like this. Remember, every hit I do get five seconds of invincibility due to the Polaroid. That was the most terrifying moment of my life. I knew you'd shoot again, because you're a jerk. That's the shop, which, remember, we have 50% off on stuff and things. I'm going to play this room real patient. I can wait here all day. The masks aren't going to come after me. That tinted rock, mighty appealing. Oh, what? You what, mate? I, I want to go over there, but I, I can't. I can't do it. This is quite unpleasant. Okay. We're making progress. Making, making progress. And if we do get hit through some that happening we can easily clear the room remember shop half off no greed already we know these things two soul hearts that was pretty much necessary mandatory excellent the compass will give us the location of the um, icon rooms I want to keep the emperor for the next floor so that now we have the full map for the floor besides the top secret room, which is awesome. I like that. Gonna go to the item room, gonna go to the boss. We're gonna have a charge for this here item by the time we get to the boss. And that makes me happy, I think. I think that makes me happy. Alright. Like I said. Oh, Cuba Meat, you're a you're a beautiful. Beautiful individual. May as well get all the stuff, because I got this ladder. It's what it's here for. I could attempt to get a blood bag, but it could be an IV bag. So I don't want to do it, even though I have Polaroid invincibility. Let's see what this is. Be a health up. Speed up. Yes, I want that. The game is not being as cruel as it was last time. Ah, oh, that's going to hit me. Yep. It's fine. This is why we make mistakes. Range up allows us to charge our knife faster, which is good. Uh, but yeah, this is why we got that extra health, because I needed it, mostly. That was the primary reason. No, we got it because we were lucky from a tinted rock. But that doesn't change the fact that we needed it. And I can just attribute that as the reason that we got it, instead of saying, oh yeah, we got lucky. Carrying Queen? Guess what, you're my arch nemesis of the recent memory. Alright, meat. Damage up, HP up. Neither of those are the dead cat. There is no curse room on this floor. Wow, a soul heart from that. That's really lucky. No tinted rock. Uh, neither of those are worth my health. At all. Even a little bit. But now we have a little bit of replenishable health. That's quite good. I don't know if this is a winnable run at the moment, but it's, uh... It's something. I am going to play this once. And I guess I'll play it more since I'm invincible. But so that I get polar invincibility on hit. Remember, PhD makes us win more. Uh, yeah, I guess I should do this. Probably can get a blood bag, which would be pretty advantageous. Or an IV bag so that I can guarantee I don't get any more of those, and so that I get a blood bag the next time. But there's definitely health laying around, so I may as well maximize it. There's nothing else I'm particularly interested in this floor. But that's cool. We're also building up our money supply. I don't think there was anything I cared about in the shop. I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm pretty sure I handled everything that I needed to handle in there, though. So here we go. Give me the blood bag, please. Not the IV bag. I don't need your tricks IV bag. Alright. Touching it makes it so that it can't appear next time. We'll only get blood bags from now on, which can appear multiple times in a run, even after you pick them up, fortunately. So there we are. We've got that problem Temporarily solved. Oh, I wish I knew that. Alright, I'm gonna make this happen too. 
Don't you worry, your pretty little heads. I'm going to make this work. I'm gonna grab that half heart or harder, whatever is in there. I'm gonna play it with my invincibility. And we're gonna see what we get. It doesn't have to give me a Devil Room item, but it could. It could also just give me a normal beggar item, which is fine. Maybe it can only give me item room items uh, if it doesn't give me a Devil Room item. I'm not, I think it's normal beggar. It must be normal beggar. It should be normal beggar. Uh, but it's not a guarantee, like I said. Uh, it, it could happen. It's also not a guarantee that it ever pays out with anything. Oh yeah, tower. I'm interested in that. Thanks. Maybe we'll get more health along the way. And then have the true delight and ecstasy of good stuff happening. See? Look how simple that was. It only cost me my last key. Thinking about doing the challenge room. Alright, so I can get... Depending on if he pays out at all. It doesn't do anything for us, but it's not special, so why not? Uh, it doesn't increase our damage with Mom's Knife, sadly. It, it would be nice if it did. But now we have it. Uh, I don't know if it's like the Fallen or something and doesn't pull from the pool. I think it pulls from the pool, though, unlike the Fallen. Uh, does, apparently, or doesn't, apparently. Uh, Brimstone doesn't affect Mom's Knife in any way. Which is good, because it could just have been a significant tears down or something, and that would be sad, but it's not not the case. Alright, I'm ignoring all this money both because I don't need it, but also because I can't afford to mess up on that and lose health. I don't want that heart unless there's like a blood donation machine here, which there certainly isn't. That was not even an intentional dodge. Oh, oh okay. You keep telling yourself that one, uh, Isaac. I will accept your judgment on that one, because mine would have been different and worse. Oh my god, we're so lucky with the Soul Hearts this run, and I don't know why. We don't have any increased chances at the moment. There is nothing going on to cause that. I'm going to open up the chest in the challenge room. It'll get me a charge for the unicorn horn. My little unicorn, by the way. Let's be real with ourselves. And it will potentially give me something good, and hopefully I won't take any damage or anything. I accidentally took the half heart. So now I don't even have Polaroid Invincibility on hit, and then I got hit. So basically this was a catastrophe in every possible way. Literally the worst thing that could have possibly happened in this game. Worse than death. Oh, yeah, I got hit again. Worse than death. Oh, I missed. You lie. Oh well, at least we got some good stuff out of that. Onwards to victory. So if we find the boss right away, that's fine. I will fight it right away because I have the Emperor card to teleport myself back into the same room. Oh, cool. We found the item room literally right away. I mean, as right away as it... Well, okay, no. Oh, I don't have any keys, so I guess that doesn't actually matter. Ultra Pride. That's kind of unpleasant, but apparently I have all the damage. Could you not, Ultra Pride? Could you just not do what you're doing? Okay, it kind of feels like Brimstone's giving me lots of damage, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I kind of want the left hand, but I also really don't, because the Polaroid... Well, technically it's not doing anything right now, and we are going to get it again from the boss. I'm just going to... It could get me guppy. I don't have any keys. By the way, the reason we're getting lots of chests is guppy's tail. Er, which gives us increased chances of chests and golden chests dropping, and decreased chances of other drops. So, I mean, I kind of shot myself in the foot as far as this item room is concerned. But it's cool. I'll make it work. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, this shop can't be greed, though. Not that I have a key to go there. <laughs> it once again comes down to the keys. Uh, so we did get a chest here. Uh, that means that the left hand is, like, incredibly valuable. All right, I'll do it. I've convinced myself. It's happening. Uh, so the problem is, it's not necessarily likely, but the secret room could be down here, but I can't bomb in there because that was a mini-boss room. Oh, and Greed also can't be in the shop because there was a mini-boss on the floor. Guess I should also mention that. Oops, okay. No drop, and that's okay. I should check in here. It's not a fortune teller. I could get my invincibility back, but then I feel worse about having the left hand, but the invincibility is really good to have. 
that's pretty much my internal dialogue, and uh, I'm just gonna go with the left hand because I really, really want to become Guppy. Even if it's Guppy's head, which is less preferable because, well, I guess maybe it's actually equally preferable. I'd rather not have to die in any situation. Polyphemus. It's not Polyphemus at all. That is much smaller and more gaseous, or gaseous, if you prefer. Although, I would say gaseous. Not that I don't like the way the Brits say things. I like British pronunciations. I like their accents. I like the use in their words. Canadians do that, too. Probably plenty of other people do. But I, I just, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, another key. You don't say. Okay, good. Good. That was very good. Yeah. Okay, that's acceptable as well. Definitely doing it. So worth it. Jeez, if the red chests are going to be even remotely frequently that good, then I'm, I'm so down. Oh, darn. But I'm not down for getting hit in silly ways like that. Of course, we could also get another chest right after this. Okay, seriously, does brimstone affect Mom's knife? Because this is feeling, feeling weird. I don't know why it had this much damage. Okay. That's two troll bombs. So I ain't about that life. Oh, I expected to have an explosion that would cause me great sadness. Oh, you what? The least you could have done was explode. Okay. I'm trying so hard. They're getting. There's so many chests. All I want is Guppy. I have the key. Yeah, not the moment of truth. All right, and the candle. Well, I'll certainly buy these three things. See what this pill is? It's something unknown. Let me know. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. It's what I need. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we're going to fight the boss. I'm going to cheese. Maximum cheese. Since apparently my damage is just way more insane than it seems like it should be. And that's that fight. I will take the health up. I will blow up the tinted rock, but I will not take the soul hearts if that's a thing that happens. No, it's a red chest. And those are both balls of steel. So I'm not going to not gonna use those yet, because in case I get a double room that uh, costs me a lot of stuff. Okay, I didn't. So now I will take the balls of steel pills. I will clear the floor. And then I will take the Polaroid back and f do whatever it is that I need to do. I'm not interested in that, even though I could get something for free from it. Uh, and I'm going to stick with uh, my little unicorn for fun. Just for fun. Certainly makes people happier than the candle. Everyone's like, oh, I hate the candle. It's just so easy to use and so broken. I mean, yeah, it's overpowered, but it's not. It's a tool, and it can be used... I don't know. I just don't see... I don't see the point of disliking a run for the items. Because that's not... Whatever. I'm not going to get into it. It doesn't matter. We've got our Polaroid. We've got this stuff going for us on this floor. Every hit will do a full heart of damage instead of a half heart. But we are in a pretty good situation at this point. Uh, this run was looking scary, and then I turned it into a pretty not scary run. And if I could get four keys... That would be real, real good. I want to go to the curse room really badly. You know what, I'm probably going to do it. But what we will do is we will see about the boss first. I want to see what's up with the devil room. If we get it, which... I, oh, you are... You are a very kind game. Note that the left hand and the Polaroid are the only two trinkets that can ever appear for twice in a run, as they are the only two that are guaranteed drops from something as well as in the trinket pool. I guess maybe Counterfeit Penny could appear more than once. Maybe. Good, that's what I, like, that's literally exactly what I was hoping for, except that wasn't what I was hoping for. Is cool. Alright, so we hopefully get a double room here. That's really what needs to happen. Contains the dead cat. Or actually, Guppy's head would be more preferable now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm gonna do this thing. We get our second level cube of meat, but no devil room. At which point we do go to the curse room and hopefully get teleported to the devil room, or 
Well, at least it paid for itself. But I really, 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 really wanted to go to the Devil Room and get Guppy's head. Become Guppy, have no red hearts so that we had uh, Polaroid invincibility on every hit, and then lead a wonderful life as a flying cat. Because that's, I mean, really, who wouldn't want to lead a wonderful life as a flying cat? That sounds like the best. It's cool, though. On to greatness. We had our little bit of fun with the... With the left hand. Twice. Okay, I like golden keys for the floor when I have guppies. Tail, that's really good. And we're also going to go to this boss challenge room, because maybe it's awesome. And I don't even have to use another bomb, because Bob's Rotten Head is right here. Although, I could have saved that in case I get rerolls and things. Uh, if I get a d6. And that can be dropped more by stuff. And since I don't have Polaroid Invincibility going for me, although I can easily set that up right now, uh, with the arcade, may as well take the extra health, honestly. Why not? I am going to get Polaroid Invincibility, though. Yeah, I can't bomb out of the room. I can only bomb in. If only boss rooms worked like that. The only way to get into a boss room from a secret room is by being stupid and taking damage like that. No, it's by, um... Ooh, that was close. What's with all the soul hearts? I don't understand. Uh, the only way to do that is with the x-ray vision item. Otherwise, you just gotta... You just gotta go there the normal people way. Sad life, I know. So, I'm not even going to double play it. I'm just going to play it. I'm going to... Oh, I double played. <laughs> Oops, I doubled it. And I'm going to play one more time. And now I have Polar Invincibility. If I played it again right now, I would actually get another half heart back, another half red heart, and then I wouldn't have Polar Invincibility. And I would be using half a soul heart to do that. So I'm not too into that idea. Leave the room and re-enter to increase the blast radius of our bomb. As in the womb, you can't tell a normal rock from a tinted rock, and as such, you want to blow up as many rocks as possible, just to try and find a tinted rock. It would behoove you. I don't know why that's the thing. Nope, he thought you had me. I could get along with... I mean, I think I'm around Isaac's base speed, which is the perfect speed to be, but I... I could get along with a speed up, I guess. I don't think I want one, but I think that I wouldn't be super against one. There's a difference, uh, but this is a very good speed, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's near optimal, if not optimal. I mean, having a golden key means I should open up every single thing. But now we just simply do this fight. Nope, you don't do that to me. All right, now we back off. You lie. You lie. Stop your lying ways. All right. There we go. I only have one orbital, which is probably the biggest sore point, I'd have to say. I'm not even joking. That's probably the worst part about this. I'm going to the cathedral, of course. That wasn't a tinted rock. And I think that I'm going to win, I think. Could be wrong. I'm not going to go all the way out of my way to go to that uh, curse room. Oh, you troll. That's fine. That's why I have Polaroid Invincibility. I don't know how many soul hearts I have. I think that they're actually just at the edge of the screen now. Oh, you are close to trolling me. You almost had me. Are we sure the Brimstone doesn't affect Mom's life? I'm, I'm not sure anymore. I was sure. And then suddenly... I got them. <laughs> and then I wasn't so sure. And in front of me, the world changed. You know, that's basically how it happened. Alright. Right before my eyes. I wish I had, like, consistent... Consistent deep voice. That I... I got, even making it happen instead of just having a an incredibly deep voice. I wish, I wish. Because it, I can't maintain it. Oh, you what? Alright, well that's fine. Get the poison up. Back off. Try not to get hit again, but if I do, kill Isaac real quick. Real quick like. Remember, I am Judas. I'm not Isaac right now. So I do have extra damage just by being Judas. That is also a thing. 
Now we only have three keys, so unless one of these is a skeleton key, which it isn't, I might add. I am going to take the Book of Shadows over the uh, My Little Unicorn, though. Even though we don't get uh, contact damage for it, the Book of Shadows, it charges every three rooms, so I should use it, and I will be able to use it far more often. We are going to get more chests because of this whole um, guppy. Not guppy. Guppy's tail thing. Yeah. So those all contain... Oh, okay, use this. Those all contain items in the chest. Okay. Ten seconds of invincibility also on the Book of Shadows. So it's just, it's better for our purposes. That's Mom's Eye. It literally does nothing for us, so I don't actually care about having it. But I'll take it, even though it's special. That increases the chance of Polyphemus. This was uh, premeditated. Okay, screw you, Greed. I don't need to mess with you. Okay, so the um, Spelunker hat that I picked up... I hate you, Daddy Longlegs. The Spelunker hat I picked up tells us when we're next to a secret, top secret, or just any room that has an icon and we can't immediately see it. And uh, that told me I was next to the top secret room, which hopefully contains a red chest that contains Guppy's head. Or some flies, those are good too. Note they're not affected by the damage brimstone either. So they're they're doing pretty much base Judas damage, plus I guess meat is all we have, I think. Darn you. Evil. I wanna use the item here. I really do. Oh okay. Thank you for slowing me down, Death. Actually, that was really kind of you. Alright. Uh, I don't like what's going on right now. I really don't like what's going on right now. Okay, that was my own fault. I looked away. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna beat Blue Baby. Should be no problemo. Within the invincibility. That's right. All right, fun run pretty quick for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.